Whenever I see a client in the clinic that has osteopenia or osteoporosis, one of the first things I do is get an idea of what their posture looks like from the side because I want to determine whether or not they have an excessive curve or a kyphosis through the thoracic spine. Remember the first seven are cervical, next 12 are thoracic, five lumbar, then we have the sacrum. One thing that's common is that we start to get a loss of bone mass density in the front of these vertebral bodies. And as they start to collapse, if they have low bone mass density, you start to get a little bit of a wedge fracture right through here and the resulting posture changes so that you've got more of a curve or a thoracic kyphosis, sometimes even a dowager hump through the thoracic spine. Well, is there anything we can do about that? Of course there is. Everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Dubu, physical therapist from Integrative Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. I'm a firm believer in working on thoracic spine extension on a daily basis in a passive way. So yes, we have to work on strengthening the muscles of our back. We want to avoid turtling. We want to work on bones. We want to work on strengthening exercises that are going to make us stronger. I'll put a video link up here to a basic exercise program that I have for osteoporosis. Um, the video has almost a million views and I say that only because it's a popular video. So check it out if you're not already doing some strengthening exercises. But what I'm talking about today is more of a passive thoracic spine extension. Remember, this is flexion of your thoracic spine and this is extension. Now for some people, if they don't have a real stiff thoracic spine, when they lay flat on the ground, their spine should straighten out nicely. And what we're doing is essentially we're getting a little bit of an extension through our thoracic spine. Then we have some people that have such a stiff thoracic spine that even when they lie down, their head would drop so far back that they need a pillow or two because their thoracic spine isn't able to flatten out or extend. So we're going to go through three ways that you can mobilize your thoracic spine at home, starting with someone who's got a pretty flexible spine to someone who's kind of moderately restricted and then someone else who might have a pretty severe kyphosis. And at that point, we might not necessarily be able to get them out of this position, but we sure as heck don't want them to get worse. All right, let's get to work. If someone doesn't have any significant restrictions and they can at least get into neutral, for some people just laying flat on their back is giving them a little bit of an extension moment through the thoracic spine. Now I've got some clients who are pretty stiff. So when they lie down, their head drops way back down because their thoracic spine cannot flatten out. So in that situation, they would lay flat, but then they would use a pillow to help support their head. And if I have a pillow, my head's not going to drop all the way down through here. But your goal is to be able to lay flat without a pillow. But if you need one, that's fine. And then while you're here, we're gonna work on chest openers. And I want you to bring your arms all the way up and you'll find that as you bring your arms up over your head, your thoracic spine is going to want to extend and open up. You can bring your arms out to the side as well too. What we're after is just trying to get some stretching through the pectoralis muscle. But once you find a comfortable position where you feel like you're getting some movement through your thoracic spine and a stretch through the chest, I want you to maintain that position for anywhere from two to three minutes and just breathe focus on your exhalation and letting things passively open up. Now for someone where that's pretty easy, then what I want you to do is get a rolled up towel, and this is just a rolled up towel taped together, right along the middle part of the spine, so that when they lie down, that's gonna push in and get a little bit more of a thoracic spine extension moment. So what does it look like? You're gonna put it right through there, so it hits the middle back, and then I'm gonna lie down on it. Now in this situation, if I don't have a pillow, this isn't very comfortable for me. So I'm gonna use a little pillow, but now I've got this towel that's pushing my thoracic spine into extension a little bit. My legs are a little bent. You can go with whatever feels comfortable. And it's the same kind of thing. I'm gonna bring my arms up over my head and I'm gonna position them until I feel a little bit of a stretch through that thoracic spine. I feel my chest opening and I'm gonna lay here for about two to three minutes, opening things up. Now for someone where this isn't even enough, we're gonna go foam roller. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you two valuable resources that you can use also for osteoporosis management. Normally you would use the foam roller on the ground, but I'm just showing on the table because it makes for a better video. You're gonna sit on the edge of the foam roller and then you're gonna drop down. Now you wanna make sure that your chin isn't going up and that you're putting a strain into your neck. So elongate your neck 
If you need a small little pillow or rolled up towel, go ahead and use it. My legs are bent, arms are up, elbows are out, and now here I'm getting a nice stretch. It's a nice chest opener. I'm gonna hold this here for two to three minutes until I feel like I've improved some flexibility in my shoulders and my thoracic spine has started to relax. The last way to get even more extension is to put the foam roller sideways. And I really don't recommend this until you've worked all the way up, especially if you have a history of compression fractures. Sometimes just laying flat or with a small little rolled up towel might be enough to help get some thoracic spine extension. But for those of you who can tolerate it, the foam roller is going to be perpendicular now. And we're gonna start with it right around the shoulder blades. I'm gonna support my head and I'm gonna use my feet to kind of roll me up and down. So I'm gonna start by my shoulder blade. I'm gonna drop my buns, take a breath in. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna slowly drop down and open up that thoracic spine. Hold this for a breath or two and I'm gonna come up to neutral. I'm gonna push with my feet and go up another segment. Tuck my heels in towards my butt. Take a breath in. As I exhale, slowly drop down again. You'll really feel that thoracic spine kind of opening up. Now it's pretty common to have certain areas where you feel really stiff. So be really careful in that area. Roll up again. You're never gonna roll all the way to the low back. So right about the lower edge of the shoulder blade is about as far as I want you to go. Exhale and drop it down. So two additional resources to help with the management of osteoporosis is strength training. So now if you're not sure what you should be doing, I just wrote a book, 10 Minute Strength Training for Seniors. These are exercises that you can do at home and it's kind of designed for someone who maybe isn't very familiar with the weight room or strengthening or how many I should do or what the reps should look like or how much weight I should use. So these are 40 different exercises that you can do right at home and every one of them is osteoporosis safe. If you already have the book, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I'm always looking to try to get better myself. Another resource I'm working on is an online osteoporosis educational program. And so you're gonna to wanna to join the Facebook group. And I'll put a link down below to our Facebook group because that's where I'm gonna be advertising and posting about the educational seminar coming up soon. It's online, so you'll be able to do it anywhere you are. All right, everyone, let's have you work on your thoracic spine extension. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel so you never miss another one of my videos. Take care and enjoy your day.